Hi, today we're going to discuss how to enter and set up a quick journal in Microsoft Dynamics GP. Let's say I have this particular journal entry that I need to create each month and the amounts vary or perhaps they stay the same and I want to have a different journal entry number each time. An easy way to do this is with quick journal. So, let's go into GP and take a look at how we set up quick journal. In the financial series, under setup, we're going to choose quick journal is our uh, setup window. And the first thing we're going to do is give it a journal ID. This is just a unique identifier to distinguish one journal entry from the other. And I'm going to call this prepaid insurance. Okay, and then I'll have a description there. Prepaid insurance. Now when I use this quick journal, which source document in the general ledger entry do I want to use? And I can use the general journal, well, that one's fine. And then there's a place for me to enter in the reference, just as you would if you were keying in a recurring entry or a single entry in the general journal. And here I'm going to say record prepaid insurance. And then it asks me about an offset account. Let's go back to Excel and look at the entry. No matter which of these account numbers is used, regardless if maybe some months some are, other ones are used and some months some of these are not used, but the prepaid insurance account will always be used. So I'm going to put that in as my offset entry and then I'm going to key in the, just the expense entries. Now a quick journal is set up for someone who just sits and hammers in the same entry over and over and over again. It's the same as giving them this blank form and having them populate it with the numbers. So let's go back to GP and back to our quick journal setup. And here, let's put in the prepaid insurance. So I'm going to do a lookup by description and find prepaid insurance. Here it is. And I have that in. Now I can give the user's ability to override the offset account if I want by simply clicking on the checkbox. And this is indicated, obviously, as you can see by a quick entry by quick quick entry, not as a default setup for everything. And then just as I have in the general journal entry, do I want to see a breakdown of allocation? So if I used a fixed or variable allocation, when I print the edit list, do I want to see the allocation accounts or do I want to see the actual accounts that will be used? And here I'm going to start populating in the account numbers that need to be used. So back in Excel, I can see I have these four accounts that need to be used. So let's pull up our um, quick entry setup window and let's populate it with these four accounts. And that's all I'm keying in now because I'm creating the form that will be used. So I'll do a lookup and the first account I want to find is prepaid life insurance admin. Now I could search by description as you can see and find it that way. There it is. So I'll go ahead and just select that one. Or what I can do, I know that one starts with 64 so I'm guessing the other ones do as well. I'm going to choose to sort by my main segment, which will be my natural account number, and enter in 64. And there are the other ones. Vehicle insurance, liability is next, and casualty is the last one. And now I have my form completed, and I'll just simply click on save. Now back in Great Plains, let's go to transactions, and we're going to go to quick journal. And this is how you'd key in a transaction. It'll create a new journal entry each time. And the one thing that's different from a regular journal entry, or there's two things actually, and this is I have to select which journal entry I want. And I want the prepaid insurance journal entry. You'll notice the source, the reference, and the offset are populated for me automatically. And now what I'm going to do is enter in what my control balance is, what I expect the balance to be down here, and then just the opposite of that will um, get posted to the offset. And in this particular case, let's pull our Excel sheet back up. I expect to have a debit balance of 1750. So I'll enter that in. And now I can simply populate my account as normal. You can see I have the distribution reference if I want to key that in. I could also add account numbers just for this journal entry or I don't have to use them all if I don't want to. So let me go ahead and populate this journal entry and I'm using the down arrow key and you can see how quickly I can update it. And I can choose to save it and if I save it, it'll put it in a batch called um, prepaid insurance. 
and let me go ahead and um, pull that batch up and then let's post it. So let's go to series post and there's my prepaid insurance batch right there and then let's go ahead and post it. We'll print the entry to the screen and here is my entry. Quick journals are quick and easy to use. They're great if you have recurring entries that happen where the amounts change, but the accounts typically do not. Or if you have some recurring entries where you want the journal entry number to change, because remember in a recurring entry it'll use the same journal number for the, as long as the journal entry exists. Hope this helps. Thanks.